Hey y'all, welcome back. On number two, it's asking which of the following is a factor of four minus x plus y squared? Now you might be tempted to try to square this out and simplify what you get, but you really don't need to do that. Instead, you wanna identify this as a difference of two squares, where four is a perfect square and x plus y squared is a perfect square. We can easily factor difference of two squares, in other words, expressions that take the form a squared minus b squared as follows. a squared minus b squared can be factored as a plus b times a minus b. So the only thing to do here really is to try to interpret the expression that they gave us as a difference of two squares. So what's a and what's b in this case? Well, a would be two because two squared is four, okay? And b would be the x plus y. So we have 2 squared, which is 4, minus x plus y squared. So if we follow our difference of two squares rule, we can rewrite this as 2 plus x plus y times 2 minus x plus y. Now you want to be a little careful here because I can't just write it like this. I'm subtracting the entire b expression, which is x plus y. So really I need these in parentheses, and then I need to distribute that negative sign. So the two factors here are still 2 plus x plus y as one of my factors, and my other factor would be 2 minus x minus y. Now the correct answer here is going to be d, so even if you messed up that second factor, like let's just say you made a mistake and you wrote 2 minus x plus y instead of 2 minus x minus y, you could still get this right, but you might see both of these answer choices and be confused on which one to pick. So the, the, really the key here is to make sure that you distribute that negative sign and write your factors like this so you can see that c would not be correct. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.